Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about five Cape Dutch wine estates where you can stop over for lunch on your next visit to Cape Town. Cape Dutch wine estates have this in common. Good food, excellent wine and beautiful architecture. This makes them great venues for functions. Our first venue is the Lanzara Hotel. It is one of the oldest farms in the Stellenbosch area and was established in the 1700s. It has been the trusted lunch venue for locals for many years and is also popular with tourists. Whether you want to stay over, get married, have lunch, go for wine tasting or just have scones and tea, it's always an enjoyable experience. Our next venue is Boschendal. Whether you want to visit just for lunch, a morning uh, or afternoon or a full day, there are certainly lots to do at Boschendal. This could be anything from picnic, swimming in a dam, trout fishing or horse riding. You can even get married here. So it's a good place to stop for lunch. Our third venue is Speer. With four restaurants and picnics on offer, you will certainly not go hungry. You may also want to combine it with a Segway tour. Check if there's any local artists performing at the amphitheater in the evening. Our next venue is Vergelegen, favorite of many locals and tourists. It is also the oldest farm in the area. The first owner, Adrian van der Stel, was the son of the first governor of the Cape, Simon van der Stel. Adrian started to develop the farm in the late 1600s. Today the farm is well developed and their wines compete with the best in the world. One of the attractions not to be missed is the lovely comfort trees planted by Adrian, which is in the front of the restaurant. The gardens are a must see and in December the hydrangeas are in bloom, which gives an awesome purple picture. Vergelegen is to be enjoyed by all ages. You can visit the wineries or have picnic on the lawn or have cheesecake in the stables restaurant. There is also a more formal option of dining in the Comfort restaurant at Vergelegen. Our last venue is Lorensford. The Lorensford estate was once part of the Vergelegen wine estate. Today this wine making estate also farms with flowers and fruit. Be sure to visit the art studio, take a guided walk, do some mountain biking or take a tour of the gardens. Visit the Mulhouse kitchen for lunch. They only use locally produced ingredients. A great event is the weekly market where you can taste the estate's wine and beer. You can also browse the crafts and arts on show. Hopefully the introduction to the Cape Dutch wine estates will have given you inspiration for when you are planning your own holiday to South Africa. If you would like us to help you plan your holiday, then please get in touch. The contact details are below. The link is also placed below the video. Feel free to contact us via mobile, email or the website. If you would like to make your own videos, then click in the link below to start your free trial. The video was created under the Creative Commons license. Images and attributions can be found in the link below.